Lady Amen, Glory to Jesus, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise God. Evangelist Sandra Kelly here once again with the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. Amen, praise God, glory to God, this is it. The Gospel of Christ, the power of God, and to salvation to everyone that believes. Amen, praise God, glory to God, this is it, praise God. Amen, hallelujah. We're not ashamed of it. No, praise God, glory to God. A lot of people are ashamed to talk about Jesus. Amen, this is it. I was talking to a lady yesterday. And uh, this is it. She didn't want enough to do for religion. She didn't. Uh, she's a good churchgoer. And I said, yeah, it's a problem is that, uh, you know, such a good churchgoer and that uh, preachers are attending their pocketbooks, but they're not uh, telling you to attend your Bible, encouraging you to read your Bible. And then first God goes, God's telling that she says world religion. Yeah, oh, world religion, talk about God. But who's talking about the Son of God? No, first God, none of these religions. The Buddha's got God. The, the Hindus got God. The, the Muslims got God. And, and this and that. And they got married just like the Catholics. You know, so they believe in Mary. They believe in uh, all sorts of things. But they don't believe the word. Remember, it's God. Jesus said, uh, I mean, he that believed on me, as the scripture said, out of his belly shall flow what? Rivers of living water. Remember, first God, John uh, chapter 7. Remember, first God, glory to God. Remember, first God. So, Avengers, Sandra Kelly here once again, glory to God. So, with the gospel of Christ telling you, start reading your Bible and stop believing those preachers. Stop going to those churches. Stop going to those dead churches, those dead works of faith churches. Remember, first God, people know that they're not of any value. Remember, first God, the physicians have no value. Remember, first God, preachers have no value. Remember, first God, glory to God. The only value that they got is they want to value your pocketbook for their books and for their CDs and for their DVDs and so forth and so on. You know, that last night on the internet, uh, they had a church which is here in uh, uh, Mountain View County uh, called Word of Life Church and they were saying, why we tithe? <laughs> well, uh, hello, Jesus came and the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, I mean, what you purpose in your heart. You know, first God, glory to God. I mean, first God, the widow in uh, the Gospels, you know, first God, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, she put in her last might, you know, first God, said, glory to God, this is it, that uh, she didn't tithe, she gave what her heart purpose. You know, first God, glory to God, and first God, and Isaac killed because he did not do what his heart purpose to do, which is to give him the price of the part of the land. First God, he wasn't given the tithe of the land, he was given what his heart purpose, and his heart purpose was supposed to give to the whole thing, but he didn't. You know, first God, glory to God, and this is it. You no, know, first God, glory to God, so first God. So this is it that these people, gospel perverts, you know, first guys still talked about tithe and tithing. You know, this is it uh, something that's long time ago, long gone, long time ago, so forth and so on. And they're gone long time ago as well. And they're dead in their sins and trespasses. And you know, first guy goes, guy, because they don't read the Bible. They just get their trash from uh, uh, whatever. You know, first guy ever ever learning and ever able to come to knowledge of truth. No, they desire to be teachers of law. But, you know, first guy, the Bible says that they, they don't know what they say now or where they affirm. You know, first guy goes, guy. So we'll read this in uh, uh, Timothy, First Timothy chapter 1. You know, the Apostle Paul, the first guy goes, God talking about the end commandment, which is uh, charity. The first guy, have a pure heart. Well, who has a, which preachers have a pure heart when they're looking for your pocketbook? They don't have a pure heart. They got a book, they got a root, you know, first guy, a root heart, a root of evil, and then it's just the love of money. And the first guy, the first guy, they got a, a bad root. You know, first guy, first guy, first Timothy 6, first guy, that's it. But first Timothy, chapter 1, verse 5, now the end of the commandment is charity of a pure heart. And the good conscience of faith on fame. The first God said, Who's got pure heart when you're allowing the homosexuals and you're allowing all the murderers, the fornicators, and the divorced, remarried, and the lesbians uh, up in their pulpit, and also gospel purpose teaching you the truth? And then first God said, Have you read your Bible for yourself? And this is it when these people are allowing videos and DVDs, you know, is it to do all the teaching for them, all these gospel perverts and liars, and, and this is it, idolaters and fornicators do all the teaching for them instead of the parents uh, staying at home and training the child the way it should go, and they're just saying, Well, I take the lazy way out. And the first God goes, God, the first God, well, we're going to take the Bible way. First God said, "Glory to God, because we're not going to take the way out. We're looking for a way in." First God, Jesus said, "Strive to enter in." People are striving to enter out. People are looking, to, you know, is it an excuse why not to read the Bible? Looking for an excuse, an excuse. Like, I go do this, God do that, God do this, 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 so forth and so on. Looking for an excuse. And then is it, Jesus said, "Help me." They arm me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Teaching vain doctrines, and commands of man. You know, said that, uh, you know, said that uh, said the work's been done in them in, uh, in Sodom. They will remain, but you know, is it that these people, you know, is it they're exalted into heaven, but their heart, but the, uh, but the uh, works, you know, sit in the ways and their doings you know, are far from Christ and first God here in Timothy first Timothy chapter uh, 1 verse uh, 5 now the end of the commandment is charity of a pure heart and good conscience and of faith and fame from which some having swayed serve which have served having turned aside unto vain jangling desiring to be teachers of the law understanding there what they say there where they affirm but we know that the law is good if men use it lawfully first God so desiring to be teachers of the law 
matter what they say, matter what they affirm. You know, first God, how many people say so we're all sinners? Well, where's that? You know, first God, what do you think Jesus came to do? You know, first God said, I guess you're just too busy talking about God. You forgot that the Son of God came and he died for your sins. And then as Paul told Timothy in that same chapter, that Christ came to save sinners, not make them, save them, of whom I am chief, Christ Jesus, the Son of God. First God, and now the faith I live is now by what? The faith of the Son of God. First God, glory to God, said first God. So, I mean, this is it. That uh, I guess uh, people are too busy talking about God that uh, they forgot that the Son of God, and, uh, and this is it. They're still living the Old Testament days so still got to keep this feast day and this day and that day and this day and this day and so forth and so on and instead of uh, doing what the bible says they're doing what the church says they're doing what man has to tell them to say you know for they're doing what the sunday school says the sing song service the doctrine of devils and seducing spirits you know for this guy i don't know how preachers could be in a church and read the bible at the same time serving two masters when you have sunday school and church you know for this guy because we don't read a, a scripture or a word in the bible called sunday school it's called come out from among them it's called be separate say of the lord touch not the unclean thing for what the light had to do with darkness so Christ to have Bilal, you know, is it what Concord? You like to do darkness with the, you know, first guys in glory, first guys Second Corinthians chapter six. Paul tells to this is to come out from among them, right? First guys separate. If it's got people don't want to separate, they want to join. If it's got not being joined heirs of Christ, they want to join a church, join this, join that, and so forth and so on. Join a movie theater, join Hollywood, and this is what the churches have. They're giving up their example. They're giving up their what uh, Paul says in First uh, Corinthians 11: "Be followers of me, even as the Lord, even the Lord Jesus Christ." Or First Corinthians uh, 3: "You know, God, Paul says, be followers of me." First God, so God, but here we have to, you know, said First God, uh, you know, this is it that be not equally on your equally yoked together with, uh, with uh, unbelievers. What fellowship of righteousness, what unrighteousness? What communion of light with darkness? What concord of Christ below? Or what part have you that believe with an infidel? And what agreement have the temple of God of vitals? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, you know, is it, uh, come out from among them, and be separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and be a father unto you, and ye shall be my, ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord. Almighty, you know, first God said, Glory to God said, First God, and having therefore these promises here, beloved, let's cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of flesh. First God said, First God, get, purge out those movies, purge out those dead works of faith, purge out, purge out, purge out, purge out, purge out, and then first God, purge them, you know, let's get rid of them. And first God, Glory to God said, Five Bible says, I mean, this is it that in Daniel, this is that, um, is that, uh, uh, is that, uh, is that uh, in uh, Daniel, this is that, uh, wherefore, kings is, uh, uh, that, um, Repent your sin, give up your sin. I just want to give it the right scripture here. In first God, Daniel chapter uh, uh, four. In first God, said Daniel, the man of God. In the first God, goes to God, said first God, uh, who was anointed, you know, to, to tell the truth. In the first God, said goes to God. Unlike these preachers, were anointed to to just preach for your pocketbook. Anointed to tell, you know, that their their the church doctrines. I mean, so they don't want to lose people using force for cruelty. The Bible says, you know, said then the sick you're not healed. You know, said miracles and all that. I mean, it. You don't hardly hear about that anymore. First God, goes to God, said first God. And uh, Daniel, the man of God, says this at uh, verse 4, verse 20, said, Wherefore, O king, let thy conscience, uh, uh, counsel be acceptable unto thee, and break off thy sins by righteousness, and thine iniquities by showing mercy to the poor, if it may be a lengthening of thy tranquility. You know, first God says, God, God, a king, a rich guy, a king, you know, first God says, God, God, this is it. That Daniel telling him, hey, break off your sins by righteousness. First God says, God, God, you know, this is it. That, uh, you know, this is it. Stop boasting yourself. First God said, Glory to God, stop. You know, is it uh, being so high and mighty and so high and dry? You know, is it so holier than thou? You know, is it come down? You know, first God said, First God, and this is the king didn't listen because he said, It's just not the great Babylon which I built to myself. And this is it that the uh, uh, that, uh, that, uh, is it, that the voice came and said, that, uh, Oh, King Nebuchadnezzar, see it's spoken, and you should be as an uh, ox in the field, so forth and so on. First God, Glory to God, so first God says, Is it that the uh, men out there are enjoying, you know, is it the pleasures, the cares, pleasures, and riches of this world instead of uh, being a king? Christ being a peculiar people, what Peter says in First uh, Peter chapter two, we're royal priesthood in the Revelation one that we're kings and priests unto God for Jesus Christ. And you know, first God said, "Glory to God, this is it, praise God." So I mean, these be people, you know, first God says, "This is it." They got to come down to Christ. Got to acknowledge that Jesus Christ is the Son of God because these people are just calling God the Father liar because they're stopped talking about the Son. They're calling Jesus God the Son. Well, good luck trying to cast out devils. You'll be like the seven sons of Sceva. You read in the Book of Acts trying to cast out devils. You know, this is it in the name of God the Son. I rebuke you. Well, it's not going to work in the name of God the Son. It's in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of God, you know, first God, this is what's going to cast out devils. Not in the name of God the Son, not in the name of uh, of, of, of whatever, you know, the gospel perverts to have down the street. When Jesus said, All men shall honor the Son, even if they honor the Father, he honor if not the Son, honor if not the Father who sent them. And Jesus always talked about whom he has sent. And first God, that uh, the two West Testament, two witnesses is true. I am one that bear witness to myself and the Father which sent me. First God said, I came forth from God, you know, that I'm not God, but I came forth from God. And it's what they couldn't understand, you know, because they had that kind of doctrine back then in John's day. 
day. And John kept telling him over again, the son, the son, the son. And he knows that he knows it that the son of the Father in truth and love, and and that uh, who search confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, God dwells in him. And he said that confess that the Son of God is coming to flesh, that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh. And like Paul says, Romans eight verse three, and if what the law could not do, God sends the only Son like himself so sinful flesh, condemns sin in the flesh. And first God goes, God says, first God, God. Paul confessed it. Even David knew that uh, Jesus was the Son of God. And first God, the Lord said unto my Lord, and when the Lord at thy right hand, he's the one that's going to be the ruling the kings in Psalm, you know, this is in Psalm, uh, uh, um, Psalm 1, uh, uh, Psalm uh, 1, uh, 10 there, you know, first God, is it uh, that in Psalm, uh, you know, first God, is it the Lord said unto my Lord, you know, first God, 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 so this is it that, uh, uh, that uh, this is what, uh, you know, is it, it didn't say, uh, uh, is it that, uh, you know, say, uh, Whatever first God said, God said uh, the Lord said unto my Lord. So it's obviously, you know, a conversation, a dialect between two people. In Psalm 110, it says, The Lord said unto my Lord, sit at my right hand to make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of strength to Zion to rule in the midst of thine enemies. And the people will be willing that they have power and the beauty of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast to do with the youth. And first God said, God said, first God so the really answer is it that. Um, he should judge, uh, you know, first guys, that the Lord is sworn and will not repent after our preceptor or order Melchizedek. Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the place of dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall drink the brook in the, in the way. Therefore, he shall lift up the head. You know, praise God, praise God. And this is it. That, uh, you know, praise God. This is, it. this is the one Jesus. You know, praise God talked about the double-edged sword in his mouth. You know, praise God. Said, the sword in his mouth. You know, praise God. Said, praise God. Said, praise God. Because the word of God is quick and powerful. Then a two-edged sword. You know, praise God. Praise God. Said, praise God. I mean, who's, but who's reading this? Who's getting into this? You know, praise God. People are getting into the, the, the six-pack, into the Christmas holidays now, into the Halloween spirit now, into the preacher's holidays, into the preacher's pocketbook. And the preacher loves it. And this is it. He'll remember his pocketbook when it's Halloween. Remember his pocketbook when it's Christmas time. He remembers pocketbook when it's Easter time. He remembers pocketbook for New Year's. He remembers pocketbook for a wedding, for a funeral. He remembers God said, Glory to God. I mean, the, pe- the preacher's always on the lookout for his pocketbook. He's not on the lookout for the saving of your soul. You know, first God was on this lookout for the saving of the soul. You know, first God, the church should be clean. I mean, the church would be, he would have knowledge. You no, know, first God, because the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4, you get knowledge, get wisdom, get understanding, my son. You no, know, first God, Glory to God. But who's getting all this knowledge? I mean, this is it. They're getting knowledge from the movie theater. I mean, this is it. instead of being a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, as said earlier, Paul said, they're followers of Hollywood, you got great one liners, but no truth. You know, first God, who's got the truth? You know, first God, uh, Paul says, I say, truth in Christ and lie not. You know, first God, it's the glorious God, Paul. I mean, this is it. Uh, you know, I mean, the man of God, he told Timothy, the, the, my son in the truth, and, and they probably talk about in Tes- uh, Second Thessalonians, the love of the truth. You know, first God, the truth that is in thee. You know, first God, Timothy, you know, first God, it's the glorious God, the truth, the truth. I mean, Paul, you know, this is it, was a man that's after, always after the truth. You know, first God, it's the glorious God, it's just, I say, truth. You know, first God, Paul was a man for the truth. You know, first God, the man behind the pulpit is a man for lies. You know, first God is a very subtle, like the serpent. You know, this is it. You can't, you know, read the King James Bible anymore. You're not educated enough. You know, this is it. You have to go back and read some Greek and some Hebrews and some Latins and so forth and so on. And you buy my book uh, in order to understand the new American or the new this, the new, 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 and all these pervert Bibles. You have to buy my filthy books. You know, so they understand these filthy Bibles instead of understanding the King James because translated out the original tongues just to compare revise. But in order to understand the new King James or new American or new standard or new this, new that, you have to buy the preacher's book. I mean, it's how it's all translated. I mean, it's that you have to read the Greek with him. Make sure you're not off uh, on some sort of tangent to uh, reading your Bible because if you're, you know, not reading the Greek with him, you know, is it to learn the Bible in 20 days? I mean, is it uh, then uh, what, you know, is it? This is a real mess, you know, is it that, uh, I mean, it's with strong delusions. I mean, is it that they're offering a free course, learn the Bible in 20 days? You know, is it to know Jesus in 20 days? Well, you can't know the Bible in 20 days. You can't know Jesus in 20 days. You know, first God, 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 first God, it's just from gospel perverts just looking for your pocketbook just looking for their own ways just looking for their own gain looking for their own quarter you know first guys the guys that they're just looking and looking and then first guys and they're just looking and they and they're never they're never stopping you know first guys this is it they're just dumb dogs who never have enough you know first guys Isaiah said they're just dumb dogs you know first guy looking at every man for his own gain his own quarter and prophesy of strong drink you know first guy goes guys is it first guy they're looking now at the homosexuals to come into the church I means they had nothing to do with uh, 
you know, for this guy to repent and be born again. No, it's just for the pocketbook. They're just looking at them for, you know, something new to come into the church or some new abominations or something new to come into the church to, to fill their pocketbook, to fill their coffers because the preacher doesn't have enough money and means that he doesn't have enough faith to go by faith, not enough faith to go by the uh, Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible, but he has enough faith to, you know, ask for your pocketbook. He has enough faith to go by his pocketbook. He has enough faith to ask for $10 million for, your, for a jet. He has enough faith to ask for a facelift, enough faith to buy his filthy books, but not any faith at all to get into the gospel. And the first guy goes to God, the first guy and said, they have enough faith to buy the filthy gospels, but pervert God Bibles because they don't want their sin found out and they're trying to cover it up. And the first guy goes to God, God and this is it. And people, when they receive, don't receive the love of the truth, they got a strong delusion to believe a lie because God, Father, Lord Jesus Christ gave it to them and then he'll turn you over to a reprobate mind to those things which are not convenient. Take vengeance on them. They'll obey not the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. First God, we read that in Second Thessalonians chapter 2. And the first God, taking vengeance. No, first God, the first God. Amen. It's the first God. He isn't going to be uh, passing his love. He's taking his vengeance. No, first God, glorious God, the first God. And on them that obey not the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. First God, the glorious God. So, amen. Hallelujah. First God, so taking vengeance. Vengeance belong unto me, saith the Lord. First God, glorious God, the first God. So, amen. Hallelujah. First God, so is it. People out there, is it they choose to ignore him. You know, see that you refuse not, not him to speak it from heaven. The first God, but people, is it as soon as they hear the gospel, I don't want to change religions. I don't want to change this. I'm not asking you to change religions. I'm asking you this. You mean is it you're going to try to do it yourself? We start reading the Bible, start comparing it to your church. You mean hey guys, says, consider thy ways. No, first guy, consider your ways. No, first guy, consider your ways. No, hallelujah, first guy, which way are you going? You mean consider your ways. You mean get out of the Presbyterian church, and the only way that would come out is through the Bible. Get out of the Protestant church. Get out of the Catholic and Mormon. Jehovah's Witness. Come out from among them. Separate from among them. Consider your ways. No, first guy, consider your ways to say the Lord. Consider your ways. You mean first guy, consider your ways. What doctrines and you you're serving? No, first guy, the Lord guy. You mean is it Elijah said, God be God, let us serve God. If Baal, Baal, let us serve Baal. Praise God, the Lord God, the Lord God. Now Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came and Paul says that the faith that uh, is in the Son of God, who loved me and died for me and and, and, and washed me free from my sin, in uh, Galatians chapter two, you know, praise God. Uh, and this is it, eighteen and nineteen. You know, praise God, the Lord God, says that praise God. This is now the faith I live by. You know, so I don't live by the faith of my church doctors. I count those all but dung that I may win Christ. Paul says, you know, praise God, Lord God, this is it that uh, it means that praise God. People, Christians don't like me going on and on. You know, this is it. Uh, well, they wouldn't like Jesus going on and on. They would tell him to take a breath at the Sermon on the Mount. But Jesus still went on and on and on with his sermons. I mean, with his gospel, with the word. You know, praise God. Why? Because, I mean, this is it. That Jesus, you know, this is it. wasn't going to be persuaded. And he wasn't going to allow people to stop. You know, praise God. Said, and uh, to, uh, to, 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 to do whatever. You know, praise God. Said, he was just going to uh, allow them to, to just uh, uh, say whatever, do whatever. You know, praise God. Said, praise God. Said, that uh, he's just... Uh, uh, you know, so is it that uh, he just, uh, 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 is it that, uh, uh, that uh, he uh, just uh, wants them to go after the word? No, first God said, Glorious God. So, this is it, first God, Glorious God. So, I mean, first God, he wasn't going to stop. He was just going to go on with the word, and he knew the truth. And the first God, he shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And the first God said, Glorious God. So, this is it, first God, how the first God. So, I mean, first God, you, you shall know the truth. And the first God, so, I mean, first God, uh, and one guy says to me, Well, wherever learn, never to come to the knowledge of the truth. Well, Paul did. You know, and first God said, Say truth in Christ. Jesus said, You shall know the truth. And first God, I agree. When you gospel perverts, you know, this is it, the guy on the uh, Twitter, you know, this is it, uh, you know, this is it, uh, Brian Silver was the name of the he, he said he can't be perfect, free from sin because he says Romans 3 23, all, all, all have sinned. You know, P E D, past tense, come short, glory of God, being justified freely. What's the glory of God? In Colossians 1, we read that Christ knew the hope of glory. First God, glory of God, said, first God. People, you know, this is it. They don't want that hope. I mean, this is it. They're not looking for that hope. No, they're not looking for the hope of the pocketbook. They're looking for the hope that uh, things are going to smoothly. They're looking for the hope that it's going to be good weather. They're hoping that this and that and so forth and so on. And this is it. And they're cursed. No, first God, said, glory of God, because it's not the hope that they have, you know, Christ you the hope of glory is not the word. You know, they don't possess the word, they got to possess the world. You know, first God, glory is God, the first God, but they don't possess the word. You know, this is it. They possess you know what UFOs or ghosts or whatever led those the, the, those uh, shows uh, like those ghost hunters would not tickle them. You know, this is it that you watch them and, and I just I can see that, that was a liar. You no know, first God said that uh, we know that the dead know nothing. And these people are still walking around trying to residual this and that and so forth and so on. It's a ghost trying to you know make communication or whatever. Well, it's not no ghost, it's a demon spirit. You know, this is the try masquerade as something a familiar spirit. You know, Prince God goes, God, I just watched him because you know, it's just to show that how the liar that that was a liar. You know, Prince God, liar and murder from the very beginning. Prince God goes, God, in John in chapter 8, Prince God, Jesus said, him, Prince God, no Bible for himself is transformed into angel light. You know, Prince God, we see that with Pharaoh, we see that over and over again. The devil's trying to persuade people to go on side. He did it with Pharaoh, try to get Moses on side, but whose rod swallowed him up was Moses' rod swallowed up Pharaoh's rods. You know, Prince God said, Glory to God, this is it, Prince God, Solomon, Hallelujah, 
Jesus Christ. So no matter for Satan himself is transformed as angel lives, therefore no no matter with his ministers is transformed as ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to the works in Second Corinthians chapter eleven. And praise God, glory to say, Amen. Hallelujah, praise God. So we gotta get in this Bible and you know, stop fooling ourselves to say we're saved or believe we're saved or have us illusion or delusion. You know, this is it, praise God. This is it uh, without Jesus Christ, the Son of God. You know, we just have a lot of fine God talkers. People talk about God, 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 God. Everybody talks about God. Who's talking about the Son of God? No, first God, glory to God. Who's talking about Jesus Christ? No, first God, they're just ashamed of Him. And He says, shame, shame, come glory to the Father and the Holy Angels. Either they forgot that Jesus came or that they're ashamed of Him and they just want to talk about God as Father. Either way, they're calling Jesus a liar because they don't believe the record that God gave of His Son, Jesus Christ. No, first God, glory to God. So God so loved the world, He sent His only begotten Son. That whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but everlasting life. And he that believes on Him, you know, is, is not condemned. He that believes not is condemned right on the spot. You're condemned already. In John chapter 3, 16, 17, 18, men praise God, how this reality, men praise God, glory to God, says that yes, that God sent his son not to condemn, but who's doing the condemning? Man condemned themselves. Paul says, you judge yourself. You judge your own self. And praise God, says, glory to God, like this lady I was talking to, you know, praise God, says it, that uh, she judged her own self, you know, says she judged herself on worthy of everlasting life because she wants to believe, you know, that her church, she's a good church goer, says, want to come out from among them. Well, this is it, that uh, your name uh, is, uh, you written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and uh, this is it, and uh, we are taken out very quickly. I mean, you don't do what the Bible says. And praise God, says, glory to God, every idle word a man shall speak, shall get an account of the day of judgment. We don't give, uh, take heed to the chastisement of the Lord. And this is it, that he can let you go and become sin. And this is it, that this is a scary thing to be let go. And then first God says that Jesus talked about that seven other spirits worse than first, you know, shall enter into that man. And that uh, last day of the man is worse than the beginning. You know, first God, even Peter said, hey, you know, it's better for them not to know the way of righteousness and after they have heard it and turn from the holy command that was once delivered unto them. The latter end is worse for them than the beginning. You no, know, first God, so glory to God, so first God, so read that in Matthew chapter 12. And uh, Second Peter chapter three, man, first God, glory to God, the first God, said, the first God, Amen. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth His handiwork. First God, you look at the sky, you know, first God, glory to God, this is it that uh, God created the heavens and the earth. He spoke words, and and this is it. And through Jesus Christ, He made all things through Jesus Christ. Spoke through the Word, you know, first God, you know, this is it. Uh, let there be light, you know, let there be dry land, let there be seas. Boom, 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 boom. You know, first God, people ask me, you know, this is it that. Uh, do you believe in the Big Bang Theory? Yes, I do. And first God said, because God spoke and let the you know, let the dry land appear, bang, it was there. Let the sea appear, bang, it was there. You know, sit there, believe. You know, sit there. So first God, so the heavens show of declared the glory of God and the firmament show of his handiwork. You know, first God said, glory, glory, glory God. Go to uh, Genesis chapter 1. You know, first God said, glory to God, this is it. That, uh, you know, first God, this is it. And uh, first God and says, this at uh, Genesis chapter 1. And it says, uh, you know, says it that, uh, uh, you know, that, uh, and God said, let there be light, and there was light, and God saw light, it was good, and God divided the light from darkness, and God called the light day, and the darkness called the night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. And the first God said, glory to God, said, the first God, so I meant day one, first God for the earth, and the first God said, glory to God, day, you know, the last day of the earth, that's good before it, uh, you know, blows up, before Jesus, you know, sit, Jesus is going to come back, take his own elect home, and first God and the earth is going to, blow up, you know, first God says, there's going to be new heaven, new earth, and good luck to you Jehovah Witnesses, because you people are going to need it, because, you mean, this is it, uh, so to speak, uh, you know, this is it, uh, that, uh, because uh, you people think you're, you're going to come back, and the earth is still going to be here, it's just going to be burnt up in there, when it doesn't believe in your filthy religion, it's going to be uh, destroyed, well, false, no, first God, it's only those, you mean, this is it, in Christ, only those who are the elect, only those who are the called, you know, first God, is in Christ Jesus, first God, it's not going to take everybody, you know, first God, it's just like those preachers, say, preacher God loves everybody, well, hang on here, what about Jesus? You know, Jesus said, if man, let me keep my words. And this is it. I remember you know, a few months ago or, or almost a year ago, I was at the, uh, Tim Hortons here in town. And uh, this guy uh, says to me uh, or says to somebody that uh, sees my Bible, I says, oh, you know, we uh, work for some sort of a, a funny camp or a Christian camp, so-called. And uh, we just give them a Bible and, and accept Jesus in their heart. Well, forget it. Don't work that way. I mean, God don't hear those sinners. St. John 9, 31. First God, eight, and Ezekiel 18, uh, verse uh, uh, 4. You know, zip, behold. Behold, all souls are mine, the soul that sin shall die. Romans 6, 23, the wages of sin is death. And first God said, well, first God, she said, if man let me keep my words. Didn't say, say some funny prayer. And first God was watching on TV there, those Kenneth the Copelands and the Mr. Motorcycle Gang guy. And first God, those Copelands, those Hagees, and so forth and so on. You know, those filthy preachers. You know, this is it. They're coming up with their ideas. And their ideas about motorcycle gangs, about uh, motorcycle, join the motorcycle club. You know, first God said, ride for the gospel or whatever. You know, this is it. To join the worldly events. And first God said, and, uh, you know, first God, and he was saying this, uh, you know, say this, dear Jesus, 
I accept you in my heart as my Lord and Savior. You know, said, and they went on talking about personal relationship or personal, you know, whatever. Well, the Bible says he died for the sins of the whole world. The Bible says we're children by adoption, not children by, you know, said relationship. I don't have a relationship. I'm one with Christ. First God is not a relationship. I mean, we're children by adoption. First God, I'm adopted. And we're one. And the Bible says we're joint heir with Christ. And it's all by faith. And we have fellowship with him. But you know, we don't have a relationship. You know, first God, good God. So he said, first God, it's not like I can see him right in front of me and shake his hand. I can say, yes, I have a relationship. I'm his friend. First God, is first God. But now we're one with Christ Jesus. First God, said, God, God said, there's no relationship. You know, first God, it's children by adoption. And then whereby we cry out with Father. First God, Peter, you know, John had a relationship. He shook Jesus' hand. He ate him. He was that is uh, the, the last up there was leaning on his breast there and uh, even praise God Peter did you know praise God and and, and uh, all these people did but now praise God, praise God Paul came and then this is it and now it's, it's by the spirit of adoption praise God praise God the, not spirit of relationship praise God spirit of relationship is uh, of the devil praise God is uh, some filthy uh, gospel pervert down the street who's just looking for his pocketbook who's just looking for you know it, uh, to make his own uh, gain no praise God praise God, God, so, praise God so people you know it's out there you know it's just, they, they all want to talk about a relationship in first God, first God. But here in Psalm 19, the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament uh, show of his handiwork. Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. In the first God, the Bible says, I mean, that their voice has gone throughout the world. The lion's gone up throughout the world in Romans. You know, have they not heard? Yes, they have heard. You know, first God is the glory of God, and then he's going to call a remnant. You know, first God, my people, which are not my people. You know, first God is going to call the Gentiles, going to bring in the people. You know, first God, because the Jews, because of their unbelief, have been uh, cut off. You know, first God is this it, and uh, if they, uh, you know, turn around, they'd be grafted in again. That's why Jesus came for the Jews. They must preach the lost sheep of Israel, but Israel didn't want to. He came to his own, his own received not. I come to Christians and they don't want to receive it. They want to receive the preacher's pocketbook. They want to receive the preacher's brunch. Amen. If any man hunger, let me at home. His God is their belly and his glory is their shame. The Bible says, No, praise God, glory is God. Says, praise God. There's no speech nor language where they have, it's not heard. Their lines gone out through all the earth and their words at the end of the world. And them have he set a tabernacle for the sun. You know, first God. Now Jesus is the tabernacle. You know, first God is the glory of God. Uh, you know, Peter, Peter talked about that. Uh, you know, Lord showed me to put out this tabernacle on my body. First God, because Jesus is now, you know, it's at the door. First God, in the tabernacle, you had to go for the door, and God was in there. Now Jesus said, "Hey, I'm the door. You know, if any man shall knock, I'll open up, and uh, and I'll reveal the Father, and I'll show you the Father." First God, it's always through the Son. You know, first God is the glory of God by a new living way. And, you know, it's concentrated through the veil of His flesh. You know, first God. So people, you know, they use Thomas. Well, he's saying, "My Lord and my God." It wasn't saying, "My Lord God." He's saying, "My Lord and my God." Because in John 14, Jesus said, The works that I do are not mine, but the Father which dwells in me. Praise God, because it's the works that uh, Jesus was standing there talking, and and, 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 and and so forth, because it was God's works, because God the Father dwelled in him. Praise God, the glory of God, so praise God. So you have to go through the Son in order to get to the Father. Praise God, the glory of God. In the old days, you had to go through the door into the tabernacle, because these were just shadows of things to come, and not the very image. You know, praise God, there's just shadows. You know, praise God, shadows. You know, praise God, the glory of God. So it's it that uh, we're not magic shadows. You know, praise God, we have you used to have a show in Ontario called Magic Shadows. No, these are, 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 are uh, you remember, praise God, these are just shadows, just uh, images, just, uh, you know, this is it, just an uh, uh, example, you know, praise God, but not the very thing, you know, praise God, 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 praise God, so this is it, they're just uh, shadows, just uh, images, just uh, pictures, just, uh, you know, praise God, 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 praise God. Now, for the big show, now for the big, uh, now, you know, here's uh, John the Baptist announcing the coming, you know, praise God, 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 Christ, you know, praise God, 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 people don't want the hearing of the word, they, they announce the coming, they want to come to a rock concert. You rather go to Word Life Church and dead churches, serving the picnic, serving the brunch, serving the false doctrine, serving the tithes, serving the concerts, serving the whatever, serving the flesh instead of serving the word. No, first God, the Bible says the carnal mind is sin and death from Romans chapter 8. You know, first God says that they, uh, they that are, uh, uh, you know, a, a carnal mind is sin and death, and the Bible says is that uh, uh, they are in the flesh, are none of his. No, first God, the glory of God. So they're none of his. They that uh, walk uh, in the flesh, no, first God, glory of God. And people are walking in the flesh, not in the spirit. They're walking, you know, first God, they're walking, 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 you know, first God, and, and not running, they're walking in the, in, 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 in the carnal, first God, instead of in the spiritual. It means that the Bible says, it means it said that uh, you know, to walk in the spirit, you should not fill less the flesh, because, uh, you mean, first God, if a man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And first God, let's just look at this briefly here in Romans chapter 8, that the Apostle Paul is telling people, first God, glory to God, said, first God, I mean, hallelujah, first God, so this is it, that, um, that, uh, that, uh, Romans chapter 8, that we read here, that, uh, uh, that, uh, for to be carnally minded, 
which guys or either after flesh do mind the things of the flesh which guys are going to go to movie theaters going to have to go to the bar the booths the sports clubs the teams the, the sing song services the christmas concerts but either after spirit the things of spirit for the, to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace because the carnal mind is enmity against god for it's not subject to the law of god neither indeed can be so then they are in the flesh cannot please god but you're not in the flesh but in the spirit it's to be that the spirit of god dwells in you you know, first God. Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of His. And when they got the Spirit of Christmas, you're none of His. And first God says, "Glory to God." The Bible says, "And it said they are a friend of the world's enmity toward God." And when first God goes, God says, that first God goes, Jesus, first God, and says that. So first God is with these uh, uh, these uh, filthy creatures. And then glory to Jesus, first God, they're just uh, sitting there talking about God all the time. You know, it's it, and they, uh, that's why they can't stop uh, uh, sinning because they forgot that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came. We're just ashamed of them and don't want to talk about them. And then it's it because it spells doom. It spells the end of their filthy ways. It spells the end of their perdition you know this is it they just want to talk about god and they're nowadays now they're just taking scriptures you know for his god uh, we are a sweet savor unto god unto god and they're just taking the, the scripture talk about god and they're leaving out the son of god because they're afraid to talk about him they're scared to talk about him they're ashamed to talk about him they don't want to touch him you know for his god because this is it that they, they don't uh, love him you no know, first god they love their filth they love their pernicious ways and they just give you a few scriptures and jesus said he said to shut up the kingdom of heaven because all men shall honor the son even saying honor the father for his god the lord's god and this is it first god we're here to talk about the son of god we're not here to sit here and be a bunch of God talkers. You no, know, we're here to talk about the Son of God because He's the way to the Father. First God, because the Father will only bless you through the Son of God. First God, goes God, says, first God. And this is it, first God. And I tell people it's Jesus blessed because He's the way. You know, it's a God bless, God bless. Well, forget it, it's Jesus blessed, first God. And Jesus we trust, first God, because He's the way to the Father. You know, first God, goes God, says, first God. It's no religion gospel. This is no church Sunday school gospel. I mean, they don't want to hear this. You know, first God, they want to hear that Jesus loves them and sing a perverted song that Jesus loves me. This I know for the Bible tells me so, which we cannot find in the gospel of Christ. Anywhere, you know, first God, you can find it in the filthy church, but not in the gospel of Christ. You know, first God, glory to God, first God, philosophy and vain deceits. Uh, Colossians 2, verse 8. You know, first God, glory to God, you know, so beware lest any man spoil you. And these people have been spoiled through philosophy, through deceit, through the world, and they don't want to turn back. You know, Jeremiah, I mean, he told the people, hey, seek a good password, dwell of righteousness, let's go back where you know this is it, and uh, they don't want to turn back. And Jesus said, hey, new wine cannot be placed in old bottles. So, first God, glory to God, first God, first God, the new wine of the King James Bible, they don't want it, the mold bottles don't want it. And they're going to burst. No, first God, said, glory to God, said, first God. Well, the new wine for me is uh, they're going to burst because the new wine for me of uh, the world is is, is 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 not what I'm going to accept of uh, the church doctrine. No, first God, said, because uh, you know I'll burst because I'm so used to my old Bible, my King James Bible. And the first God, glory to God, said, first God, said, glory to God, said, first God, said, first God, first God, yeah. You know, first God, which is uh, the town, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man. To run a race, you know, first God. And Jesus talked about that, uh, you know, this is it, first God, that the uh, bridegroom's coming for his bride. And Paul says, well, spot, blemish, or wrinkle. And first God says, the bridegroom, and first God says, coming for his bride. And this is it, first God goes, God says, first God. So we got to be the bride of Christ. We got to be married to him. Got to be married to the Bible. Not married to the world. Not married to the church. Not married to the preacher's doctor. Not married to the preacher. Don't want to know nothing. No, we got to be married to the word. No, first God goes, God says, first God says, God And then, first God says, when you read in John 1, the beginning was the word, and, and the word was with God and the word was God's word this is what it's trying to tell you it's not trying to tell you the word was God the Father no the word was God's word the word was God and then in God's word and all things were made by word no first God because I mean, what Paul says in Ephesians I mean, first God says God created all things through who through Jesus Christ through his word no first God says glory to God one guy tries to tell me that I'm wrong well it's in the Bible if I'm wrong then my Bible's wrong first God glory to God says first God but uh, Jesus being a worker and God the Father being an engineer and you know, first God says that, that obeyed his father <laughs> Things were created. My first guy, God spoke the word. He engineered, and it's it, boom, 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 and it's it, and it's all built up just like those uh, computer games where you have one build a building, and it instantly appears. Well, this is it, this is it. That, uh, you plan the building to be there, and this is it, and it was built up. All things were made by him, you know, for him, for his son. The first God said, glory to God, the first God. So God saw it was good, saw the engineering, the handiwork was perfect. The first God said, glory to God, this is it, the son created, and first God said, for him, and by him, and for him. First God said, glory to God, the first God. God sent his own son, the likes of sinful flesh, came down, talked to Ben, and first God said, Glory to God, said, Praise God, said, Glory to God, and said, and, uh, and you said, and uh, had a, uh, you know, place, no, Praise God, said, Glory to God, made the earth for him, Praise God, he didn't come down on Mars, he didn't come down on uh, some, some dwarf star.
star that is exploding star ready to explode in the next two hours. No, he came down to earth to talk to man. Shall man, shall man find faith on the earth when he comes in Luke chapter 18? Praise God. When he comes, you know, praise God. Who's got, who's got faith? They got lots of filth. They got lots of filth for the pocketbook. Lots of faith for the pocketbook. Lots of faith for, for, for to deceive you. Lots of faith to bewitch you. Lots of faith to do whatever with you, but not any faith at all to get into the Word of God. When first God goes, God. So let's, let's just uh, read on here in, in Gospel of Christ. And first God goes, God. So first God. And it says it's that uh, it's going forth from the end of heaven, it's circuit unto the ends of it. There's nothing hid from the heart thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, covering the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. You know, praise God, say, Lord God. I mean, David in Psalm 119 says, I have not turned from thy commandments. I have not turned away from your, you know, so, uh, in Psalm 101, it says, I walk in my heart, a house with a perfect heart. You know, praise God, I have not turned from thy ways, not turned from your commandments, not turned from your uh, wayward. You know, praise God, glory to God, says, it, praise God, say, glory to God, say, praise God. Uh, even for God said, the statutes of the Lord are right, rejoice in the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, uh, lightening uh, the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord is are true in righteousness all together. Praise God, said Lord God. And God the Father says, I declare that which is right. And Jesus said, What I hear my Father say, I preach. And praise God, glory to God, that all judgment now belongs to the Son. And praise God, so wise up, smarten up. And you know, praise God, people of men, glory to God, smarten up, wise up. And you know, praise God, because all judgment now belongs to the Son. He means is it that the Father loved the Son and gave him all things into his hand. And all judgment belongs to the Son. You know, this is why these people are still talking about God because they're still looking at the God in the Old Testament days. And you know, they're still looking at Jesus. You know, praise God, as he was. And you know, praise God, in the flesh. And that's why they're still celebrating this and doing that and saying this and saying that so forth and so on. And the Bible says that we're going to see him as he is, not as he was. You know, praise God, we know him no more after the flesh. We're going to see him now as he is, you know, full of holes, no blood. And then praise God, God is coming back for his only elect, the same Jesus. And then in Acts chapter 1, that the way into heaven is coming back in the same like manner, in the same manner as well. And praise God, this is what people aren't ready. And praise God, Jesus said, be ready at all times. Watch, you know, said, first, first watch, second watch, third watch, watch. He said, watch, 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 watch and pray. Watch, watch, watch. You know, praise God, glory to God, praise God. I work in security, and we have to watch for a lot of things. Watch out for bad guys. Watch out for this. Watch out for that. Watch out for 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 these people and that people and so forth and so on. Praise God, with the you know that that that, that, that we're watching. You know, praise God all the time for for various things. You know, praise God, glory to God. This is reality, man. Praise God. Says, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening uh, the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. Judgment of the Lord are true, righteous all together. Moreover, to be desired in there, in gold, yea, much more than fine gold, silver, uh, sweeter also than honey and honeycomb. Moreover, by them is the servant warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. Who can understand his error and cleanse me from uh, his errors? Cleanse thou me from my secret faults. You know, first God said, Glory to God, this is it that uh, back then, you know, first God said, it that uh, from my secret faults, now there's nothing hid that shall not be made manifest. You know, first God said, Glory to God, said, uh, you know, said, uh, secret faults. You know, first God said, Glory to God, said, first God said, no secret faults, no hidden sin anymore. First God said, Glory to God. I mean, Paul says, I mean, first God said, some men sins are, you know, that are before him, some follow him after him. And first God said, Glory to God, but uh, your sin's going to find you out. First God, in the days of old, you know, secret faults, the first God said, but now, first God, Jesus came, we cleanse from all sin, first God, not the uh, secret faults anymore, first God, because you were just covered back in the days of uh, the Old Testament, you're just covered and not washed. And first God said, Glory to God, first God said, Glory to God. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I will be upright and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. And you read that what Paul says in Romans chapter 6, Let not sin therefore reign over you, have dominion over you, that you should be in the lust thereof. And first God, Glory to God, and it says right here that keep back, and keep back thy servant for also from the presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Let not sin have dominion over you. Praise God, glory to God. So now these are the days of David, the days of old. You know, praise God, glory to God. They were just covered. These were just shadow of things to come. There was just uh, shadow after shadow. And then praise God, glory to God. But, said, but never the very image, but never the very things. But there's just shadow. Now Jesus said, you're clean for the word. Just spoke unto you. John says in Revelation 1, you know, wash us in the blood of his old sins. Uh, First Corinthians 6, Paul says, now you're washed. You know, praise God, says, we're washed. How for the word? Praise God, John 15, 3. Now you're clean for the word, which has spoken unto you, my first God. Who can understand his errors and cleanse thou me from my secret faults? Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, 
my strength and my redeemer. Praise God. Let the words of my mouth, you know, praise God, glory to God. Bless the man that meditates on the word of God day and night, for his seed shall be blessed, you know, praise God, glory to God. The words of my mouth, praise God, then the meditation of my heart be accessible unto and I say, the Lord, my strength and my redeemer, praise God. The words of my mouth, you know, praise God, say, glory to God, say, praise God. And this is it, that there were I work, the man shall speak, should gonna count their judgment, but uh, if here says, let your conversation be as it becomes the gospel of Christ, my first God, let the, the words of my mouth, my first God, let them shout for praise and joy, and first God, in the, read that in the Psalms here, first God, at the end of the Psalms here, the first God, the words of my mouth, first God, the first God, let's just read this in the uh, Psalm um, 140, um, uh, 149, first God, praise the Lord, sing the Lord, you know, the words, sing the unto the Lord, a new song, and praise in the congregation of the saints, let Israel rejoice in him that made him, let the uh, in him that uh, made him, let the children of Zion be joyful to their king. Let them praise his name. Amen. Praise God. In the dance, let them sing praises unto him in the timbre of heart. The Lord take a pleasure in his people, and you'll utterly beautify the meek of salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praise of God be in their mouth, and a two edged sword in their hand. And first God, your King James Bible. First God said, To execute adventures upon the heathen, and punishment upon the people. To bind kings with chains, their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute upon them judgment. This honor have we, have all the saints. Praise ye the Lord. First God, the Lord, God, the first God. So this is it that uh, Colossians uh, chapter uh, three, you know, this is it uh, verse uh, sixteen. The first God said, uh, with, uh, "Praise and first God be acceptable unto thee." You know, first God, the Lord, God. So this is it that uh, in Colossians uh, uh, chapter uh, three, uh, uh, we uh, read uh, this in uh, uh, in, in, in uh, Colossians uh, chapter. Uh, Chapter 3, verse 16, No, first God, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, all wisdom, teaching, and amashim one another, and psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Whatsoever you do in word and deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. By who? By the Son of God, by Jesus Christ. No, first God, glory to God. No, first God, so first God, so, so, so let your mouth, no, first God, sit, uh, speak the uh, praises, the wisdom, of no, first God, so, glory to God, so, first God, so, so, so that, uh, this is what, uh, what uh, David said in Psalm 119, no, first God, glory to God, so, so, first God, but who's singing the praises? Who's singing? Who's shouting out there? No, first God, so, so, people are shouting for more and more bondage. No, first God, so, so, uh, you know, and the Bible says in uh, Jeremiah chapter uh, 18, no, if a kingdom, uh, you know, the, uh, do good, you know, as I said, I'll repent of the evil, but if it do evil in my sight, you know, this is it that, uh, this is it that I will, uh, you know, uh, I will, um, I'll say that in Jeremiah 18 here, first God says, first God, we're going to give him to read scriptures here, glory to first God says, first God says, it that, um, uh, that, uh, verse, uh, uh, and when it's speak concerning nation and concerning kingdom, to pluck it up and pull it down and destroy it. If that nation against whom I pronounce turn from the evil, I will repent of the evil that I sought to do unto them. And when it's shall I speak concerning nation and concerning kingdom, build it and plant it. If it do evil, I say that I obey not my voice, and I will repent of the good. Or if I said it would benefit them. The first God, glory to God, says that. First God, you will repent. First God, the good that benefit them. First God. Uh, where is it? Uh, shall I speak concerning the nation, concerning kingdom, to build and plant it? If you even want to say that, I not my voice, and I will, uh, and I repent of the good word if I said that, I would benefit them, praise God. We read that about that in uh, Jonah. Jonah was a fine example about that. I mean, uh, that the uh, men of Nifta, you know, that repented upon hearing about uh, Jonah's uh, procl proclamation that he got from God the Father, and first God, the, before, as long before the cross course, that uh, he's going to, you know, destroy Nivida, you know, Zit, and they repented. They, they woke up, hey, we're going to be destroyed in a few days unless we smarten up, and they repented in sackcloth and ashes, and this is it. They gave up their idols, gave up their ways, and then first God goes, God, this is a fine example right there. They repented of the evil, and then first God, they sought to do on some first God. The Lord God. And, uh, Jonah, of course, was very grieved at that. And first God, the Lord God. So, I mean, this is it that the, this is it. he wanted to see the city destroyed. But, uh, you know, this is it, God, as far as to say, you know, said, hey, Jonah, you know, this is it that, uh, you know, uh, cannot, uh, you know, this is it that uh, uh, do uh, much things and then that uh, have much cattle and so forth and so on. And, you know, this is it, uh, this is it that they repent and they turn around. And, uh, you know, this is it that uh, cannot, uh, you know, is it, uh, I forgive, they uh, repented, or can I forgive as well? And the first God, their, you know, their iniquities, you know, first God, goes, God, I just want to get the right context here, because I don't want to lead you astray, and then having your own thoughts, your own ideas, like the churches do, giving you your own thoughts and your own ideas, instead of giving you what the, that said the Lord, and the first God, goes, God, the first God, so this is it, that we have to get in the Bible, and start putting you with the thoughts of the Bible, first God, so this is it, first God. And then uh, Jonah, first God, the first God, we're going to, 
read this here in uh, Jonah. I find it now uh, here in my uh, Bible. Here first got uh, Jonah. First got got so many uh, uh, chapters in the Bible that uh, to uh, flip through. And first got to just gotta put my you know first got uh, my finger on uh, uh, on, on the right uh, on uh, the right uh, part. There we go. First got to go. it. So on Jonah, Obadiah, Jonah. There we go. So Jonah, you know, said that uh, verse four, uh, chapter four, verse one, but it displeased Jonah exceedingly. Was he was very angry and he prayed unto the Lord and said, I pray to you, Lord, was not this my saying when I was yet in my country? Therefore I take I fled before unto thee, Tarshish, for I knew that thou art the gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and great kindness and repentance thee of the evil. Therefore now, O Lord, take I beseech thee my life from thee, for it is better for me to die than to live. And the Lord said, Do thou well to be angry? So Jonah was went out of the city. And sat on the east side of the city, and there made him a booth and sat under the shadow that he might see what would become of the city. And the Lord God prepared the gourd and made it to come over Jonah and made the shadow over his head and delivered him from his grief. So Jonah was exceedingly glad for the gourd. But God prepared a worm when the morning rose the next day and smote the gourd and it withered. And it came to pass that the sun did rise. And God prepared for him the east wind and the sun beat upon the head of Jonah that he fainted and wished himself to die. And he said, It's better for me to die than to live. And God said to Jonah, Do so well to be angry for the gourd he said i do well uh, to be angry even unto death which god said then said the lord thou hast had pity on the gourd for which thou hast not labored neither made it grow which came up in the night and perished in the night and should i not spare nibida he said this is it he wanted to see a big fireworks show and he didn't get to see the big show when uh, jonah and so he had a, a gourd and the first guy said something that was protecting him you know it's a little shelter and the first guy said uh, overnight and the first guy said god got in sitting in and just lord's response and uh, thou was pity, pity on the gourd which thou hast not labor nor may it grow which came up in the night and perished in the night should I not spare Nibida, that great city where there are more than six score thousand pe uh, persons that cannot discern between their right hand and their left hand, and also much cattle? And first God said, Gosh God, and she said, Don't you know, let your right hand know what the left hand is doing. First God said, Gosh God said, First God, but, uh, and first God, but here, and first God said that uh, uh, we're more than six score thousand people that cannot discern their right hand and right, left hand, and also much cattle. And first God said, Gosh God said, First God, you know, said that, uh, you know, said I spared, you know, said that Gordon, and, 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 and uh, you have pity, you know, so you have pity on the Gordon, you say, and they say you didn't labor for it, and uh, yet, uh, you know, sit and he didn't labor for it. Uh, you know, first God said that uh, thou hast had pity on the gourd for which thou hast labored, neither uh, thou hast not labored, neither made it grow, which came up in the night and perished in the night. First God should not spare nibble that great city where more than 6,000 persons cannot discern the right hand from the left hand and also much cattle. First God said, God, God said, so, first God so, you know, the Lord had pity on Nivida, you know, first God because they repented of the evil. First God said, God, first God said, first God, who's repenting you knows is it of the evil nowadays. And first God, God, God said, first God said, so is it, first God, 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 so, God, God, so, God, 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 so let's just get in, let's just uh, finish this uh, whole thing off here. And first God said, God, God, with uh, what Paul has to tell us in the uh, Romans, you know, first God, 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 says it when the uh, Romans, you know, first God, said Paul, the apostle, and you know, first God, said God, God, says it that, uh, you know, first God, said that, uh, in uh, Romans chapter 11, you know, first God, said, first God, said, have God cast away his people? God forbid, for I am also an Israelite to the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Would she not, that the scripture said to Elias, how we make of intercession to God against Israel, saying they have killed thy prophets. They dig down thine altars, that I am left alone, but they seek my life. But I said the answer gone to him, I reserved unto myself seven thousand men who have not bowed down to the uh, to the image of Baal. Even his present time to remain a, a remnant according to the election of grace. And if it, by grace there is no more works, no first God so first God so no first God so works of works. If uh, if Jonas had to or if Isaiah sir, had to uh, work uh, for uh, these uh, six thousand people, then it wasn't of grace, wasn't it? First God. But now the Paul saying is okay, it was uh, no more it wasn't any works that he did. It's it was God's grace that he had these six thousand people that has sorry, seven thousand sorry, many have not bowed down any avail avail no first God glory God so first God so glory God so first God. I mean hell yeah. Uh, first God said, first God, so this is it that, um, uh, that uh, so this is it that, uh, that uh, their uh, line has gone up through, uh, you know, this is it, all the earth, and the first God said, we read that in here in Romans, but here we're, we're uh, saying that, you know, first God, uh, uh, you know, this is it that, uh, 
within the issue of not attained that which seeketh, but like to have obtained, and the rest were blighted. First God is so good. God, and I just got to think back to that gourd there. And first God said, first God is God's grace. They gave Noah or Jonah answer that gourd. And first God said, God's God to, to, to rest under. First God said, God's God said, that Jonah didn't have to labor for it. But then uh, it was knocked down by a worm. And this is it. First God said, God's God said, so first God said, God's God said, first God. Uh, but then, when Israel have obtained that which seek for but the election of obtain and where rest were blind, of course, it's written, God has given the spirit of slumber, and they should not see ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David said, but let their table be made a snare and a trap, a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see, and bow down their back always. And the first God said, Glory to God, said, the first God. I say, and how they stumped, they should fall. God forbid, but rather through the fall of salvation comes to the Gentiles, for it to provoke them to. Jealousy. My first God. Now, to fall them be the uh, rich of this world and diminishing on the riches of Gentiles, how much more the fullness to speak to you, Gentiles, as much as the apostle Gentiles magnify my office. If by any means I may provoke emulation to them which are my flesh, to might save some of them. For to cast away them, re reconcile the world, what shall receive of them be but life from the dead? My first God said, Glory to God said, First God. So this is it that uh, we provoke the emulation to them which are my flesh and might save. Some of them, you know, first God said, God, God, I mean, they were kind of jealous and said that the Gentiles are coming in. First God, they were preaching the word to the Jews. And then Peter or Paul had to tell Peter, hey, you know, first God, you know, since he came to the Gentiles as well, not just uh, for the Jews only. First God said, God, first God said, first God says, and fulfilling the scriptures in Isaiah, that there'll be a light to the Gentiles, you know, so first God, but people, you know, so they want to be a light. And first God said, you're a light of the world. First God, people want to be a light to their dog, to the cat. And first God, they want to be a light, but they're not a light in the gospel. I mean, Paul says, walk as children of light. When you read that in uh, Colossians, when first God, glory to God, said, first God, said, first God. But here, no, first God, reading Psalm uh, 19, no, first God, said, glory to God, said, first God. I mean, it's said that uh, the lion's gone up throughout the earth, and the words unto the end of the world, and them have set tabernacle on the sun. First God, which is the bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. So first God, is going forth from the end of heaven, his circuit unto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heart thereof. First God, the Lord is perfect, converting the soul, testimony of the Lord is sure, making the wise, simple, first God, glory to God, said, in Israel, and first God, this is it, that they were, uh, you know, this is it, uh, uh, grafted out uh, because of their unbelief, you know, first God, but there's still that, uh, some that still believe, and they're going to be grafted back in, first God, because it's to the Jew first, because they were to his chosen people, the Jews, and now first God, he went to the Gentiles, and Gentiles received the word with gladness, and first God, glory to God, said, first God, so, Amen. For the fruit, first fruit be holy, and the lump is holy, and if the root be holy, so the branches. And so the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them, and with them partakes of the root, and fattens the olive tree, boast not against the branches, but thou boast thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. Thou wilt say then that the branches were broken off, that I might be grafted in. Well, because of unbelief they were broken off, that thou standest by faith, be not high minded, but fear. For God spare not the natural branches, take heed that she also spare not thee. I mean, first God in Jude, and you know, first God, you read that in Jude, you know, along the same uh, similar lines, uh, you know, first God, this is it in Jude chapter 1, you know, first God, this is it, that um, he couldn't uh, spare natural branches to Jews, the Jews, you know, first God, this is it, that the, they didn't want to believe, they stopped uh, believing, well, this is it, that Jude, you know, said some uh, something uh, similar along the same lines, so first God, said, first God, said, first God, I mean, this is it, and he says, this is it, um, uh, that uh, that uh, that uh, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And first God, keeping yourselves in the love of God. First God, so first God, so glory to God. So this is it, that uh, keeping yourselves in the love of God, because you know, first God, but behold the goodness and severity of God, then which fails severity, but toward the goodness thou continues goodness. Otherwise, thou shalt be cut off. So first God, so we're supposed to keep ourselves in the love of God. Looking for mercy, first God says, keep ourselves in love, first God says, that otherwise we'd be cut off, first God, keep ourselves in love, God, keep yourselves, keep yourselves, you know, it's that the people, the preachers out there are keeping the pocketbook, but they're not keeping themselves in the love, God, they're not keeping themselves in the love, the truth, they're not keeping themselves in the Bible, they're keeping themselves out in the world, they're keeping themselves outsiders, I and mean, being dogs, being uh, workers of concessions, workers of iniquity, and instead of being uh, workers of righteousness, first God said, gain wisdom and knowledge and understanding, they gain Bible school, they gain the bread of man, and then instead, instead of the bread, instead of the word, God, first God, glory to God, so first God, this is it. Feel the goodness and spirit of God, and then which uh, fell spirit, but toward the goodness, thou continues goodness, otherwise thou should be cut off, first God. If thou were cut off from the wild olive trees by nature, and grafted country into a wild olive tree, how much more these shall be natural branch be grafted into their own wild tree, uh, uh, own olive tree. For I would not burn that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, 
lest ye should be wise your own conceits that the blindness which which parts happened to Israel and to the fullness of the Gentiles comes in. First God now is provoking them to jealousy. First God said, Now the mystery which is now Christ is me to hope glory. First God said, Glory to God. Even said, First God which is hid from all uh, ages. No, first God said, And also Israel shall be saved. As it's written, there shall come out of Zion a deliverer and shall turn away on godliness from Jacob. And for this and for this my covenant, and so I shall take away their sins. Concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sake, but touching their election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. For the gifts and calling God about repentance, as you in times past have not believed God, yet now have obtained mercy through their unbelief. First God. So I'm grafted in, first God, that Israel, who didn't want to receive God the Father, they didn't want to receive Jesus Christ the Son of God, and this is it. Uh, and not that it's a personal Savior. No, they didn't want to be adopted. No, they want to be adopted by Moses' law. They want to be adopted by Abraham's law. They didn't want to acknowledge that Jesus came because they were such having a good time and, 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 and their sins and their trespasses. They didn't want to, to have them washed out and blotted out and forgiven. You know, this is it. And so they have to pay the price. They their unbelief. And they cut, uh, they've been grafted out and they've been cut off because they refuse. Now the Son of God, praise God, glory to God, but now we're grafted in because or unbelief in the first God, glory to God, the first God. Even so, I have these now that not believe for your mercy, they may obtain mercy. God had concluded them all, and believed that they might obtain mercy upon all. O death, riches, both wisdom and knowledge of God, how unsearchable are the judgments in his ways the past find out. For we have known the mind of the Lord, who have been his counselor, first God. Now we're told to have the mind of Christ in first God, glory to God, who have first given to him and shall be confidence to him again. For of him and through him and to him are all things to whom be glory forever amen praise god's glory for god as said and we read about this uh you know said that uh about the uh about the the the, the, the covenant the first guys that take away their sins well we read that in hebrews chapter 8 praise god's covenant the first guy said that it should take away their sins the first guy that they'll write the laws in their heart first god the new covenant you know said not the ones who say gave your fathers came of the land of egypt the new covenant you know said there's a new covenant the new way because jesus now blood spill on the ground now it's the new covenant he's now the new way you know he's uh you know, he's the, the better hope because the law made nothing perfect but the bringing in of a better hope did and sacrifice and offers that would off that would not accept but the body has now prepared him for his guys he offered up his son jesus just as much as uh, abraham offered for his son isaac but praise god abraham knew and did what was right and did not uh, kill his son but uh, you know first god goes god this time god spared not his son you know but uh, offered him up to us all in romans 8 22 23 my first god goes god says it praise god so my first god we gotta get in this bible the gospel of christ the king james bible start reading who jesus is stop fooling ourselves and first god says glory Guys, there's a lot of church people that have been cut off. Church has been cut off. They keep by the Spirit of the Lord has departed because they have not at all gone into the Bible, not at all read the Bible. They've been reading the Greeks, the Hebrews, and all this and that and so forth and so on. And this is it. They've been singing and exalting way into heaven instead of reading the Word, instead of getting in the Word, concentrating on the Word. The preacher, you know, this is it. Can't wait to, you know, the first 10 minutes to shut up because he wants to talk about his programs. Would rather talk about sports. I mean, this is it. And the preacher would rather put a program in your hand of some kind, some sort of a program. I mean, it's Instead of uh, putting a Bible in your hand, they would rather give you a program in your hand. And then this is it. And this is just uh, absolutely ridiculous what's going on in this world. Praise God. It's glory to God. So praise God. So if you're interested in Kelly here once again with the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible, telling you to start reading your Bible, start concentrating, start looking unto Jesus, start reading. No, praise God. It's glory to God. Start believing. Praise God. said, He that believe on me. First God says the scripture said Jesus said no, first God didn't say he had believed on me as uh, what your church says. No as the scripture said first God says, there's no other way to believe in Jesus. First God says first God there's no other way to believe in God. And it's just, just through the word. You no know, first God said uh, David in Psalm 119 says, you know, said forever O Lord thy word is settled in heaven. First God said glory God said first God so it's it so settled that Jesus and be declared that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. First God said and that David said, you No, know, thy word if I hid my heart that I might not sin against thee, and I would keep thy words, keep thy precedence, do what the Bible says, you know, Praise God, glory to God. So Evangelist Andy Kelly here telling you to start reading your Bible. Stop believing in churches. Stop believing your preacher down the street who doesn't want to know nothing. And then stop going to those dead churches, Word of Life, Catholic, Mormon, Jehovah's Witness, Pentecostal, Presbyterian, whatever church you got up and down the street. And then start believing your gospel. And praise God, glory to God. So start believing the gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. So Evangelist Andrew Kelly here once again. We're going to you know, talk to you later, praise God. But uh, start getting in the Bible. Start reading and believing. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen.